Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you the different strength settings on this Keurig K Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker. So this is a really nice coffee maker. It's got five different strength, strength levels. So it also has the Brew ID technology. But I get a lot of questions on can you tell a difference with the different strengths. So it's got balanced, rich, robust, strong, and intense. I'm gonna try a coffee on each one of those strengths. Now it also has six different temperatures, which I'm gonna try the later two. Everybody seems to like hotter coffee. So I'm gonna try it on extra hot and max hot. But it's got all the way down here to warm, warmer, hot, hotter, extra hot, and max hot. So I'll be trying it on these last two, but I am gonna try every single strength. I've got another video that shows the temperature that this brews at on each one of those temperature settings. I'll put a link to that in the show description notes. So typically what I find is when the brew ID does work, it typically put it brews it on a rich setting, which is two. Normally the brew ID will not select a really strong uh, type of brew. So if you want it on these, you've got to go in and manually select these, in, these uh, more intense ones. Okay, so let's put our first K cup in. I'm going to try to time each brew. So let's go in and change. Let's go all the way, let's go to balanced. And I'll be doing an eight ounce brew on these and let's do temperature, let's do extra hot. Okay, so this is the, the lowest setting. This is called balanced. This is the number one for strength. Okay, so a minute, 10 seconds, let's call it. Okay, let's, let's brew the next one. Let's go up a strength. So let's go to rich, and then we'll do extra hot. So about a minute, I want to say a minute, fifth, minute, 16 seconds. Miss Fiona was too tired to come see the video. She's taking a nap on the couch. Okay, so now let's do robust. What also wanting to see it is when it does that initial brew. See if we can see any difference. A little hard to tell at this point. So the stream never really stops, but it does slow down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to call that a minute, a minute 24. Okay, so now let's do strong. Let's do strong. And again, we'll run the temperature up to extra hot. So 
So that initial stream might be a little bit darker when you do these stronger brews. Yeah, this is noticeably, see how it's noticeably slower, the stream coming out. It's not as fast, but it's definitely, it doesn't pause, it's just slower. Let's just do a temperature check. Yeah, that's 190. These are really hot cups of coffee. That's 197. Okay, so let's call this a minute. Minute 34. Minute 34. Okay, so now let's do the highest one. We're gonna do intense. Intense, make sure we turn the temperature up. Extra hot. So this is the most, the highest strength, intense. Yeah, so again, kind of like that last setting, that initial brew does seem a little bit darker. Again, the stream never pauses, it's just really slow. Let's just do a temperature check. Yeah, 190, same temperature, 196, 197. So the temperature never changes when you do these different strengths. Only the time. Okay, let's call this a minute. 48, 148. Okay, so I'm not a, a coffee taste expert by no means, but I can definitely tell a difference from the lowest balanced to intense. Now, in here it gets a little tricky in the middle. So we had a six second uh, increase from balanced to rich, from rich to robust, there was an eight second increase in the brew time. From robust to strong, there was a 10 second increase. And from strong to intense, there was a 14 second. So the overall spread is 38 seconds longer for the intense compared to the balance. The balance took one minute and 10 seconds. The intense took one minute and 48 seconds. Again, down in here, these are all good. Uh, they all taste like a really good cup of coffee. I definitely can tell, and I know with the K-Cup, it's, it's really, really hard, but I can definitely tell that that's a more intense, maybe a little bit stronger coffee. Now, can I tell each step? No, I can't tell each step. But I, And when I was going step by step by step, it was hard. But when I went from this one to this one, I could definitely tell a difference. Okay, so let's do two more brews, but with let's go, let's go to a balance, which is the lowest strength, but go to the highest temperature, max hot. And then I'm going to do a full strength and full temperature. That's when I can really tell a big difference. So here's the, the lowest strength, but the maximum temperature setting. So this should be a relatively quick brew, about a minute and 10 seconds. Okay, so that one's done. Okay, so now let's go to the highest strength, intense, and the highest temperature. And don't forget, you can hit the little heart button to save this. So if you really like an intense and a hot brew, hit the heart button and you can save it as a favorite. 
And if you want to save that as your favorite, you got to press and hold the heart button. And then if you've already got, if it's already saved under something else, you're going to want to hit delete. So now when you press and hold the heart button, it's going to say favorite saved. And now when you want to do that, you put your cake up in, you just hit the heart button and pick which favorite is that's favorite three. Scroll over using that, and then you can just press the K button. Okay, so there's that initial brew. Again, it's really hard to see. I think it might be a little darker, but it's, again, it's very hard to see. Definitely a lot slower brew. Let's get some temperatures. Takes a little bit for it to ramp up. 197. One ninety nine. That's really hot. And so you do see two hundred. I do see two hundred on there. Two hundred. Okay, so that took about the same brew time, about a minute forty eight. Okay, so here's these two. When you start messing with the, when you start increasing the temperature is when I really start um, noticing a big change. So if I was to brew between these two, you can definitely tell a difference. When you do those steps, it's a little harder, but the biggest difference you can, so when you do the, the lowest uh, brew temperature, which is warm compared to max hot, and you do the same with the intensities, well, you can really tell a difference. Okay, so let's brew one to give you an idea. So let's go balanced. And then the lowest temperature. Let's go warm and the lowest setting, balanced. We already have the max one right here. I'll compare it to it. So this is the lowest temperature setting and the lowest strength. Okay, so the temperature, 187, 185, kind of hovering around 185. So from 185 to 200, that's the temperature swing. This is the warm brew, which is the lowest setting for the temperature. It's also the fastest. Yeah, 185, so it hovers at 185. Okay, so here I've got the lowest temperature, the lowest brew, and the highest temperature, and the highest setting. I can tell a difference. Again, I'm not a coffee taste expert by no means, but to me, it does taste a little... It, it, now, these are not huge swings. This is not like, oh, this is the world's strongest cup of coffee, but you can definitely tell that the brew is different. So this has been a very popular question for this K-Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker. It's got so many different strings. It's got five strings, six temperatures, a lot of variables there so i've had a couple viewers ask me hey how, what's the time difference how's it taste between balanced and intense so that's why i did this video if you've got any other suggestions that you would like to see leave them in the comments down below some of my next videos coming out i'm going to do keurig versus nespresso i'm going to do this keurig this k supreme plus smart coffee maker versus the ninja dual brew pro these are viewers are asking these questions hey which one's better which one should i buy i've had that question a lot so I'm going to do a video and kind of show you, um, I'll just show you what I like about each one. You may have different reasons why you want a certain one over another one. So I really appreciate everybody's support. So I think in the future, I'm going to be playing around with um, a podcast, uh, Coffee Podcast. I'm not sure what the name of it's going to be, probably Just a Dad Coffee or something, but uh, these are going to be short. Uh, I'm, there's a lot of information on coffee. And I gather that information. I do some research myself, but the comments, I can tell which coffee makers are having problems, which coffee makers are doing good, where, where the questions are. Um, and I think I can, I can relay that information to everybody from 
all the comments I get on all the different coffee makers because everybody's been very helpful uh, explaining different things to me. You know, if I do something wrong in a video, somebody will, will, will say in a comment, hey, this is how it really is. And I'm like, oh, thanks. That's awesome. Um, so I think I can pass along a lot of that information on Keurigs and espressos. Again, I'm not a coffee taste expert by no means, but um, I just enjoy coffee and I enjoy how the coffee makers work. That's the biggest thing. Um, my background, I, I've kind of been a mechanic. I was an airplane mechanic for a long time. So I, I kind of understand how things work and I can open a Keurig up um, and look at inside and seeing how different things work. It's just been a lot of fun. And uh, I like passing on the information. I was always the kid that could set the VCR um, the neighbors would call me and say, hey, can you program the VCR to watch Days of Our Lives or whatever soap opera? And I would go down there and I, would, I was the kid that could program the VCRs to come on and record. So I guess that's where it all started. I've got all my coffee makers. I'll show you how to program them uh, to come on automatically in the morning. They're all just a little bit different. So again, thanks everybody for your support. If you could, please like and subscribe.